Okay. Almost forgot to get some sound going on here. Alright, see anything there? Nope. See the countdown timer. Let's see. Well, we should be alive. Preview. Oh, I think we're on, right? <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, my bald head. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, All right, you got some sound there? Yeah, well, I don't know because I. <clears throat> Shall I check? Yeah. Check the talk. All right. Check one, two. No, I don't oh, know. yeah. I got sound. Okay. Great. I have sound. All right. Hey, folks. guess what is going on now that everybody saw my the reason why I wear a cap? <laughs> this thing is coming on quicker and quicker every week. Joel, you're getting better as yeah. a producer. A, a maestro, uh, if you will. Uh, yeah, a maestro. Yes, yes, that is correct. Hey, guess what time it is, Joel? What time is it, Keith? What, what could it be? Well, it's Saturday morning. It just stopped raining. It looks like it's going to rain again. It must be Smack and Jack Live time. It is. Down. All right. So, from the rainforest of uh, Chester County. Uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by, ladies and gentlemen. Grab your cup of coffee. we got a great show once again. Uh, sit back, relax. We'll be back in a second. All right. From the Somerset Studios in Westchester, Pennsylvania, it's Smack and Jack Live with your co-hosts, Keith and Joel Wonderman. Wake up, folks! Good Get morning. up! Good morning. Time is a wasting. Yeah. Now, how come I don't see anything over here? As far as comments go? Yeah. Dude, I have no idea. Are we on? I, I see oh, you some folks from on over here. Good morning, okay. Linda. Hey, Terry. Good to see you, Barbara. Yeah, right. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Well, we're gonna start the show off. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna change the order of everything. I just gotta make mention of this. Okay. I just have to make mention of this. You can't see it because we don't have a stand, but yes, ladies and gentlemen, Smack and Jack now has a tip jar. Yeah. Let's get down here away from Okay, that's going to be our first question of the day. There we tip go. Tip jar. Every place I go into now has a tip jar. If I go into a restaurant, a waiter or waitress comes and serves me my food, yes, I will give you a tip. Yep. But if I go into Popeye's, True story, last week when I was standing at your house, Popeye's down in Lawrence Park, the chicken wasn't even hot. There was a tip jar at the counter. This is fast food, ladies and gentlemen. A tip so jar. That is, oh, uh, so let us know if you guys are uh, the most annoying place you see a tip jar. And you see a tip jar everywhere. We're going to see it at Wawa in the next couple of months, I I'm guarantee. Sure. Yep. And McDonald's and all these other places. So here's our tip jar. We and have one problem here today. We have, uh, oh, wait a minute. We, we do have an audience. Uh, oh, that's right. Our audience shut <laughs> They're not off. here yet, but right. uh, so anyway. Uh, <coughs> yeah, wake up, audience. That. Wake up, audience. There we go. So, um, yeah. So, so by the end of the show, this is going to have $1 in it. So Keith's a little grumpy. <laughs> yeah, a little grumpy. Uh, this is really annoying me. The other, And I was looking for something, a really big uh, glass thing, but all I have is this. Stella Artois. Yeah, well, it's so. appropriate. Yeah, so, it is so appropriate. I think it was last week when you when you. Um, uh, sorry, I'm getting my audience to stay awake. Um, uh, I think it was last week after you got in the coffee and you came back and you said you were very upset that you had to have uh, that there was a tip jar out there, right? Yes. And now, maybe I'm a little biased because I like these people. It's a very small company, but again. I go to the counter, I buy my coffee and my Danish and whatnot, and there's a tip jar. If you want another 50 cents, raise the price. I don't care. You know, it's $1.50 for coffee. $1.75 isn't going to kill me, you know? All right. So, yes. So, uh, that's, that's, that's so your big, and, and then my reply was, there's no reason why we cannot have a tip jar right here. Yes. At yes. the studio. And, yes. yes. And, yeah. And we have a dollar tip and so we, far. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's my money. That doesn't really. So, we're not going to split that? <laughs> We're not gonna you got 50 cents? We're not going to yeah. split the tips. Okay, okay anyway, moving so, along. Moving along. What's going right. on? Let's get some announcements yeah. going. Yeah, remember, folks, we have some uh, 
I got a brand new shipment of magnets. Uh, so no. if you want a magnet, just uh, reply to this video. Let us know. I got magnets where they're uh, five inches wide. I tell you, I had that on my rental uh -huh. for about a month and a half. I have it on my new vehicle. Thank you, Themis. Um, uh, it's been there for three weeks. Yeah, they actually and stay ran, there. Yeah, yeah, they stay put. Yeah. And uh, we also have these, which they're on order, I believe. These are stickers. No, stickers we have. Oh, we do have stock. stickers. We oh, have, oh, we oh have both this of these we in stock. Oh, okay. Both in stock. I'm sorry, I was too yeah. busy. I was too busy worried about my tips. <laughs> so there you go. There's a sticker and the magnet. They're really great. Get some. Yeah. Uh, just let us know if you want one. We'll send them out. Yeah, send we'll a send it out to you, or I will hand deliver, depending on uh, where you are. Yes. Um, we actually have shirts that are done. Okay. And uh, actually, these shirts are just for Keith and I. If you want a shirt, let me know. The reason why we're not we're not giving out too many of these shirts because they're thirty dollars a piece. Oh, yeah, I, I don't think I want one, Joel. I'm good. Oh, you're not going to? No. <laughs> yeah, so these shirts are a little pricey. They're going to have them, uh, wah, wah, wah. you know, from the same, our, our company with it, that did our hats. Uh, so I haven't picked them up yet. They're, okay. They're there. So hopefully I'll get them today. And, and I think great. we'll probably do, uh, we're going to have to do again that, uh, the the, uh, the 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 uh, comment co picker uh, uh, yes yeah, something yeah, something we'll, like that. We'll pick out a. Uh, yeah, we can start doing some of that. Give yeah. a couple of gifts yep. away or something uh -huh. like that. Yes. So I was trying to get uh, okay. Um, what so else? we have. Uh, oh, I want to talk about my car insurance. Um, my car and automobile insurance. People, I just saved the other day. Now is this bundled? Have you bundled? The two are bundled. Okay. Yeah. Car and uh, home. I saved twenty one hundred dollars, twenty one forty five a year. Wow. Um, by redoing my insurance, mainly because what happened was back in the spring, I. I lapsed on my car insurance because I thought it was being taken out automatically. Uh, there was a glitch, something happened, and long story short is I went a week of driving with both cars without insurance. Wow. I didn't realize it. So I had to get new insurance, and it was costing me, or costing Stephanie and I, $196 a month uh, for the two cars. Well, now we're paying uh, $92 a month for car insurance for two cars. Um, wow, and then our great. our homeowners went from about eighteen hundred a year to six hundred and ninety two dollars a year, and that's wow. yeah, that's all through Liberty Mutual. Mainly because we went through our te my teachers association. Okay. Um, so we have like a member benefit right. set up with that. Wow. Uh, so the the guy on the other end, he said, "Wow, you're getting a huge discount because of your teacher association." So uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> twenty one. I forget what the number was. Twenty one forty five. Wow, that's. Um, uh, a, a year. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's huge. So anyway, I'm happy. Woohoo. Just put a little bit more. And the girls got braces, so that money goes right into the <laughs> that's braces. Right. Completely passes you, goes that's right, right over to the yep. girls. Yep. Great. Yep. Awesome. Money that's bypass, right. we call yes, that, right? Yes. Money bypass. <laughs> okay, what else we got for the announcements here? Weather. Uh, weather. Weather, yeah. weather, weather. So uh, we've had uh, a little bit more rain today. Uh, fortunately, in this area, we haven't had quite as much rain as they've had out maybe a little bit further west here in uh, Lancaster County. Now, and so this forth. morning, did it rain in media? Because about it 6 o'clock, it yeah. rained pretty heavily for did it maybe really? 10 minutes. Yeah. It? yeah, it was pretty heavy on the roof. So. Wow, well, yeah. I went out running maybe. about 6.20, and it had rained, but it looked like it had been a while okay. since it rained at home in media. So, uh, But I did want to show you, um, I, it, it, the Weather Channel is an awesome place for me to just stay on there for hours and hours and hours. So I, I, I did want to show you the... Um, one of the postings on uh, Weather Channel, and this re is regarding the Chesapeake yeah, Bay. That's something. So apparently, we're literally drowning in Pennsylvania's trash. So you can go to Weather Channel, and that's up there right now. Um, and I'm not going to play the video for you, but um, all the the rain, the flooding, the destruction that's happened in New York and Pennsylvania is just filtering down to. Um, Chesapeake and Linda you'd be interested Linda you on here? Hey Jim's here. Hey Jim um, Linda and Brad oh, um, You guys did see some of this out in the water in front of where you are uh, Tree stumps and so forth mm -hmm. and if you watch that video there They have like they show people pulling trees out and you know cutting them up It's like a tree service out wow. in the water Goodness. cutting up these trees and so forth. So um, but I love the Weather Channel. I, I never get the weather from here, but I go down and I, I just start looking at all these different videos here. And I can, you know, spend an hour, yeah, if, if I'm not watching careful, watching all these yeah. different videos. So anyway, I thought that was, uh, you know, appropriate. That'd be pretty bad if you have a boat. 
Yeah, Maybe you have a boat out there. Yeah. yeah. Not, you know, those not logs good. are floating around somewhere, right. you know. Yeah. So, okay. So, boaters, so, be uh, careful. What else? I think that's it for the announcements. Yeah. Our, we didn't even get into our agenda. So, our uh, agenda. Whoops, second. sorry about that, guys. Uh -oh. uh, announcements. Joke of the day. We're going to show you a little bit more of the uh, Facebook and our website. Right. And then uh, facts of the day, trivia questions, and then our birthday minute. Okay, sounds good. All right, sounds so good. Okay. let's move on. So, we're uh, well into the show. And, and we're just getting to... Uh, the jokes of the day. All right, so let's get to jokes of the day. All right, I have some good ones here, folks. Are you ready to play that drum set over there? Yes, I am. Nice. I'll even get both right. sticks going. I'm going to unplug our computer here. I think we're charged. We're at 99%. Very good. <clears throat> so I'm going to unplug this so I don't trip over my cord. Okay, folks, get ready for some awesome jokes from... The Jokopedia. The one and only. Yep, indeed. Okay, here we go. What kind of exercises do pancakes do? Can I answer this? Yeah. Flapjacks. Jumping flapjacks. Oh! 50% oh. for you. <laughs> All right. Ding, 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 ding. Where ding. do let it... You know what? That audience is sometimes just a little bit behind. I think, I think they're watching something else. They're on a delayed time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Where do lettuces practice law? Where? At the salad bar. Ho ho! Now, there, there's a word that I don't think I've ever said before. Lettuces. But that's what it says. Lettuces. You sure it's not let us? Let us? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. How do you make a casserole? How? Put it on a skateboard. <laughs> that was so bad. That particular that was, joke will that not was, enhance your social life. I know it's not. <laughs> or your skateboarding. That's uh, right. We have two more. Prowess. What did the gardener say to the vegetables? What? Let us turn up and pee. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A little you off knew color, that was but that's All right. Yeah, last so. one. Number five, folks. This is the last one. All right. Do not have a sip of coffee yet. All right. Why did the other vegetables like talking to the corn? Why? She was always willing to lend an ear. <laughs> oh, wow, Don't blame wow, it on wow, us. Wow, wow, wow. Do not blame it on us. <laughs> we have nothing to do with it. <laughs> nothing Very to do good. with it. Very All right. Good. If you like our jokes, say woohoo or ha ha. If you don't like our jokes, just. Just say woohoo and yeah, ha ha. Right, 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 right. Right. Same thing. Play along. Same thing. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. What do we got next here? Facebook. Yeah, uh, website. Got website okay. Joel. All right. So last week, Keith, you might remember that I showed you how we put uh, YouTube right into our uh, website. Right. Okay. So you can go right to our website and look at our um, videos there on YouTube. Well, I have finally figured out how to also incorporate Facebook okay. into our website. So uh, let me show you how that works, folks. Um, so now you can just go right to our website. Correct. And then watch our show through that and all our other videos. Yep. Okay, so we're it's done awesome. with that. Oh, we have to go to our... Oh, we skipped over. We did not. Okay, we'll get to the trivia in just a minute. Um, okay, so let's take a look at our website. Um, so this is our website here. And you may recall that last week, scrolling down, we showed you that we had YouTube <clears throat> on our website. And that's what this is right here. Okay. So this is our latest video up here, and it's called The Chronicles. Up here is actually our Facebook page right there, our literal Facebook page. And as you can see, we are on, that's us right there. Okay. All right. So let me show you how we do that. Let's go back to um, edit page. Okay. So this is my page editor. Um, Okay, and if we scroll down, things are working obviously a little bit slower than normal on our page. So this might be a little bit trickier than I want it Must to be. be. My connection is fine. Uh, it's either connection or we got a lot of things open. Okay, so I want to add something new. Now, de depending on what, um, this is a WordPress site, so okay. whatever site you're using, it's going to be similar. It might be a little bit different, but I think it, it you know, it's going to be pretty similar as far as how we get Facebook onto our site. So I'm going to add um, I'm going to add a text block here. Now again, I'm in my editor inside my site, right? So I'm okay. going to add a text block. 
All right, so here's my text block right here. Okay, I am a text block. I'm going to delete that, delete text block. All right, then I'm going to go over here. Oh, I'm sorry, where are we here? And I Google Facebook page widget. Just Google that Facebook page widget. The very first thing that comes up is this plugin here for social plugins, Facebook developers. And it looks like this. And if we go down here, since I'm already logged into Facebook, our page shows up. Okay. Okay, there it is, bam. All right, now I go here and I get code. So I'm gonna get my code there, HTML. Whoa, man, what do we do with all that? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Well, there's a way to work with this code here, but it's easier if you just go up here, click on iframe. Okay. Okay, click on that. It highlights itself and you copy it. Control copy for me. And then I need to go back to, uh, where's our website? Uh, where is my website? Edit page, sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna take that and I have to go over here to text. This is visual, this is what you really see over here. It says text and that is where you plug in HTML. So okay. if it doesn't work for you, make sure you're using the text, which is HTML. Control V, save changes. I'm praying, yes, it worked. Yeah, nice. It worked, it worked. There it is, okay. Yeah. Very good. Okay, and that's our actual site right there. Okay, now, I don't really like it way over here, and I actually like the size. If you don't like the size of, of it, you can, um, you can change it. I'm just going to show you where that is here. Um, up here, you can change it. I already have it at 500. Um, you can make it a little bit smaller here, but 500 is the maximum. Okay. As far as pixels go. Okay. okay. So it can only be 500 pixels. Okay. So that worked. Okay. Let's see if I can do one more thing. And again, uh, depending on what you're using, if you're using a GoDaddy site or something like that, then it might be a little bit different. But I think this part should be very similar. Um, let's go back down to where we we're. Okay. So I want to move it over. Let's see how I can move it over here. Um, edit column and design options, nah, that's not what I want. Um, let's try one more thing. I'm not gonna spend too much time on the editing here, but I do wanna move it over. Um, oh, how did I do it the last time? So this is what I do. You know, I just kinda flub around until I come upon something that I can And then do. trying to remember what there we you, go. Here it is. did it last Exactly time. right, okay. So I don't want it way over here. I want it uh, over there. So I clicked over here where it said row and it gives me this thing here and just tells me what type of columns I want. And then I click on that, update, okay. <clears throat> and then I can just take this and drag it over ah. to, so I want it to go right in there, there ya. Okay. Yes, it worked again. <laughs> Woo hoo! Pretty good. Oh, Come on, go. audience. Okay. There, there, you go. there we go. <laughs> All right, now over here, I want to add some text, which I did right there. And my text I'm going to add is is uh, let's see. This is our new spot for our face book page and I'm gonna click save changes and there it is there it is folks okay nice. and that's all I'm gonna show you so you do a little bit of editing there you put in some padding you put a little border and framing and you can get it to look something similar to this up here okay all okay? right nice yeah. so that's what you need to do you need to Goodness. yeah something went I don't know what went wrong there but I'm not gonna worry about that right now um, so you just go to uh, Google, and you know it's something probably went wrong because we're doing a live right now. Okay, that, that's why that came up. Right, I, I'm assuming. Um, Google Facebook page widget. It takes you here. If you're logged in, it's going to come up with your page there already. Copy and paste. Go to get code. Uh, go to iframe. Copy that right into your page, and uh, and you're set. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very good. So, wow, Very that good. actually yeah. that wow. actually went okay, I have to say. Yeah. All right. Bravo. So, if you're doing, you know, if you're doing uh, like a blog 
or uh, you know a website. If you have any organization, a church, a community organization, something like that, you can you know incorporate that into your um, page. Now, the one okay. thing I discovered was that, that uh, it, it, when you pin something to the top of your Facebook page, I don't know if you've ever done that, but you want your one post to always be at the top. Right. Yes. Um, I did that on my Facebook page, but it did not show that on the, the website page. So my pin post did not pin on the website page itself. That's weird. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't know why. I'm going to have to kind there. of figure that yeah. one out. So, okay. okay. Woo. Good. Good. Very nice, y'all. Very nice. We still have people with you? Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Jim gave us a, yeah. Linda gave <laughs> us a very cool. All right. Bravo. Bravo. We taught Bravo. something, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we need a little bit more light on our screen here. Okay. Facts of the day. Okay. Yeah. Let's Ready do, to do some that? facts of the day. Sure. Okay. Let's, let's run it. Yeah. Okay. So, um, here's something else I discovered, Brother Keith. Check this out. Um, yeah, I'm gonna... Just a little bit. Yeah. If I go here and click Favorite... Right. It puts those slides into my Favorite category. Okay. And then, when we do the show, I just click on Favorites, and it's all the ones that I selected. Okay. It took me six months to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. In Wisconsin, uh, the word people most often Google how to spell is Wisconsin. Wow. Whoa. Nice. All our relatives out in Wisconsin. Yes. Woohoo. <laughs> All right. Next. <clears throat> During its lifetime, the International Space Station will be hit by 100,000 meteoroids. Wow. Yeah. Scientists can deduce someone's lifestyle, grooming products they use, food they eat, and medications they take. From chemicals found on the surface of their mobile phone. That no is kidding. borderline disgusting. disgusting. Yeah. Disgusting. Yeah, I, I have read um, that our phones are the most germ contaminated. Like, yeah, I believe it. They are really sure. pretty gross. Okay. Yeah. Sulfhemoglobinemia is a condition where a person develops green blood. That is kind of freaky. Wow. Yeah, I wonder if it happens on St. Patty's Day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the biggest knitted objects in the world are the 45 Euros Islands in Lake Titicaca, Titicaca in Peru. They are strong enough to hold several hundred people, buildings, and boats. And that's pretty interesting. I actually Googled all those islands, and it's, you know, it's like a little floating uh, Wow, no town. kidding. Yeah. Wow. Huh. Napoleon's penis is believed to be owned <laughs> by the daughter of John Latimer, a New Jersey urologist. <laughs> That just makes now, me crazy. Now, where do you, where do you, is that eBay or what? I mean, how do you come up with that? I, I don't know. Wow. Like, how do you get hold of something like that? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. 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 All right. John F. Kennedy's brain was removed and stored in the National Archive after his autopsy. The brain was subsequently lost and remains missing to this day. How does wow. that happen? Like, how do you lose that? Okay. Wow. The pistol shrimp produces a sound louder than a rock concert, 210 decibels. It was named Sinalfius Pink Floyd in honor yeah. of the rock band by zoologist Pink Floyd, yeah, sorry, um, and Pink Floyd fan Dr. Sammy DeGrave. Hmm. I, I thought it was wow. going to say Dr. Sammy Hagar, but Dr. Ha, Sammy ha. DeGrave. All okay. right, moving on. Serial killer Charles Manson was going to get married in 2015, but he called it off when he realized his fiance just wanted his corpse for display as a tourist attraction. Get out of town. That is crazy. Is it, that is him, man? He just That looks... is him. Yes, but the thing is, there's a lid for every trash can. I mean, as crazy as he is, he found somebody that wanted to be yeah, even crazier, you know? Yeah, I, I uh, guess. That's An not... article that does not exist was cited in nearly 400 academic studies and scientific papers. That is Kind of interesting. Wow. The most common place to hide house household valuables is in the sock drawer. This is also the first place that burglars check. Okay. <laughs> All right. The Chinese name for Winnie the Pooh was blocked on Chinese social media be uh, sites because people have been comparing the bear to China's President Xi Jinping. I, ah. that's what he says. <laughs> I, love, I love that picture. All right. The military of San Marino still has an, an active crossbow corps which has existed uninterrupted since 1295. Wow, that's, yeah, pretty, that's cool. pretty cool. Yeah, the longest scarf knitted whilst running a marathon is 3.7 meters, 12 feet, 
and it was knitted by David Babcock at the Kansas City Marathon. Yeah, what else do you do while you're running all that time? Sure, yeah. you might as well knit. Yeah, sure. Yeah, why not? I like to watch television. <laughs> In 1013, Danish ruler Swin Forkbeard was declared king of all England. He was the shortest reigning king ever, lasting only five weeks. Wow. Yeah, 225 Canadian fishermen die every year while urinating over the side of their boat. <laughs> so don't try that, folks. Horrible, horrible. Well, is it the actual urination that does it, or <laughs> do you know, lose? Do you the, fall, oh. the Chinese government controls the central heating for every home in Beijing. How nice. about that? Yeah. That's nice. All right, Swaziland has banned witches from flying above an altitude of 150 meters in 2013. So all you witches, beware. Yeah, that's just, wow, okay. Uh, let's see, one more. The national sport of Turkey is oil wrestling. Can you imagine? Like, nice. you know, we, we had a big Super Bowl celebration. Uh, can you imagine having a celebration of, of this? Uh, no, yeah. No. Or like, you know, like the little kids going out. Yeah, instead of playing football at recess, they, they do. Oiled up. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Okay, <laughs> that, is, that is it, folks. Let's go to our trivia okay. questions. Oh, yeah, very yeah. good. Trivia very questions. Good. All right. What do the letters CPU stand for when referring to the brains of a computer? Uh, I don't know. Central processing unit. Oh. Yeah, come on. I, I just, can think of unit, but that I should just guess. roll off the, yes, the tongue, yes. right? Okay, Sidney Carton is the central character in what Charles Dickens novel? Don't know that either. A Tale of Two Cities. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, the Roman Catholic Church La, Sagra La Sagrada Familia, located in Barcelona, Spain, was designed by which uh, Catalan architect? Yeah, Joby ought to know that one, and I don't. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. Uh, Antonio Gaudi. I was going to say Gaudi. 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 Yeah. What murder mystery board game replaced suspect Mrs. White and Dr. Orchid in 2016? I actually knew this one. Which is? Clue, or ah, Cluedo. Yeah, we just okay. got that one we've been playing ah, on. Okay, okay. MM, MMA is the acronym for what full contact combat sport? Uh, mixed martial arts. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Bravo! I don't know okay. why I know that. Officially but, uh, opened in 1869, what artificial waterway connects the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea? Uh, the the um, Suez Canal. The Suez Canal. Whoa. Yeah. All right. Here's another one you might know. What is the capital city of South Korea? Seoul. Uh, answer is Seoul. Oh, okay. He's got Good Seoul. Job. Yeah. yeah. All right. Last one. Now let's see if we can remember this one from last week because this is a repeat. In what Mark Twain novel does an engineer from Connecticut travel back in time to the age of Camelot? Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. <laughs> Connecticut Yankee and King Arthur's Court. Okay. All right, very good. So the next few ones here are repeats from last week, so we're not going to do it. We remembered a Twitter one, I hope. All right, so that is our... Uh, okay, very good. Yeah. Very good. I see you got a couple of them. Yeah. yeah. Not bad. The old noggin still works. Not bad. Okay, so I think that brings us to our uh, birthday, birthday minute. minute. Yeah, because we're nearing minute. up the end of our show here. Um, and I... I I will say that our birthday minute now is directed to our web page. Okay. Okay. Just so we can kind of get that navigation going, okay. which is uh, one of the reasons why I really want to figure out how to pin that particular post to the top. Okay. Yes. Like yes. today's show will be at the top, okay. but if I put another post up, then then our birthday minute post gets shifted down. Okay. And I want that kind of to, to stay be on top. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. that's something I need to work mm -hmm. on this week folks and maybe okay. i'll let you know how to do that next week okay okay Bravo. let's move we on are to on to the birthday minute let's turn up the speaker here so we have plenty of volume and now it's time for the smacking jack birthday minute birthday minute Oh, boy, that's, that was explosive today, wasn't it? <laughs> birthday. We, we can never do. Yes. We can never overdo the birthday no. minute. No, because birthdays are pretty good. You know, everybody's yeah. got one. 
and is, today. Uh, yep. Uh, we got a bunch of them, actually. Yep. So the only celebrity that I knew of that I thought more peop- more than like one or two people would know, I only came up with one. So today is Hulk Hogan's birthday. Everybody knows Hulk Hogan as being a just a general family guy. Yeah, real, you know, kind of a I, sweet guy. I don't know what he does yep. for a living, but uh, he, he works out a little bit, you uh-huh. know. Yep. Um, maybe, you know, he used to throw people off of, like, out of boxing rings or uh, something like that. So. Yeah, well, that... But, you know, so anyway, Hulk uh, was born this rare. day in 1953, so he's uh, 10 years older than I am. Wow. Yeah. Great. So, he's, so he's uh, there, yeah. all right, so a little closer to home. <laughs> i got to okay. adjust my... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's making me choke. Okay, what do we got closer <laughs> to home here, Joel? Okay, well, let's start with, um, let's see, today is August 11th. Wow. Already, folks, Already, halfway through August 11th. Man. I know. Yep. All right, so. Something else. Starting today, okay. Saturday, August 11th, we say happy birthday to Bonnie, Katie, Kim, and Rob. Woohoo! Happy birthday, guys. Hope you have happy a great birthday, day yeah. today. Saturday's a great day to have a birthday, right? Sure it is, sure. All right, moving on. Sunday to 12th, we have Gail. Yeah, happy birthday, Gail. Monday to 13th, we have John and Michelle. Happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday, yeah. Yeah. Tuesday, August the 14th, we have Brittany, Karen, and Steven. Yeah, happy birthday, folks. Happy birthday. Wednesday to 15th, we have a vacancy. Oh, wow! Okay. Anybody, anybody wants to be born uh, on yeah. Wednesday? Just, just let yeah, us know. Just, yep. By yep. the end of the show, and we'll put. Yeah, that's right. We'll give you a birthday <laughs> shout out. Yeah. Okay. Thursday, the sixteenth of August, we have Chris, Jenny, and Teresa. Happy birthday, folks! On Thursday, on Friday, Friday we have Angela, Bernadette, Beth, Claire, Keith, and Linda. Happy birthday on Friday, the seventeenth. All right. Saturday, a week from today, yep. August the 18th, we say happy birthday to Leslie, Lily, Matt, and Carolyn. Happy birthday, folks. Happy, happy birthday, birthday. Folks. Yeah. And we missed one. Yes, we did. And we I was just thinking, to miss one. Yeah. August 14th, yeah. 19... <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. August 14th, 1990. Yeah. Yeah. Our favorite sister was born, Linda... Yeah. Kreider. Is it Kreider Lenderman or Lenderman Kreider? Do you, Linda Lenderman Kreider. Linda Lenderman Kreider. Yes, yeah. our, our big sister Linda's <laughs> birthday is on Tuesday. So, happy birthday, yeah, big Tuesday sis. Tuesday the 14th. Yes. Happy birthday that to is. Linda. Woo! Happy birthday. It's funny, All right. two of our... You were born on the 16th. I was born on March 14th. Linda was born on August 14th. 14th. Tommy was born on June 21st, which is an increment of seven. And, well, that's, that's all I can come up with. But uh, yeah. I just think it's fu- uh, funny. Two two kids in the same family born on the same day yeah. uh, of the month. So, okay. Happy birthday, everybody. All Let's right, get yeah, out of here. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Woo-hoo. Yeah, Keith, I wasn't sure where you're going there. When you, uh, when never, you never are. Word, I, I, you know, I'm as is. is um, when you pulled out the word increment of seven, I'm like, oh man, I gotta think here for a minute. What, what is he Did talking increment about? Increment actually even work? It might have a little bit. I think so. It's, yeah, it sounded pretty good. Um, you know, I so, use these words, and I just hope sometimes they they're, they actually, where they're supposed to be. Yes. You know, that's right. Anyway, hey, okay. well, uh, it looks like we're kind of. At yeah. the end of the show here, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Are, uh, thanks, everybody, for joining us. One. Yeah. Um, went all smooth. No no glitches, uh, as yep. we know of yet. So thanks for stopping by. Or we're going to be back next week, I believe. Yeah, our plan yeah. is to be back okay. next week. And do us a favor. Uh, stop by our smackandjack.com website. Yes. Uh, we'd love for you just to go on there, you know, check things out. It's very Joel's doing a great job with it. It's it's a very elaborate site, and uh, it's going it to get better great. all the time. So. Yeah, and again, that's through, uh, you know, the 4% group through the uh, product called the E-Stage Okay. Um, so anyway, uh, if you get a minute, go on the site. Just let us know what you think. Um, you know, we can make twit- or, you know tweaks here and there. And, okay. And, yeah. And, you know, make things look good. So. And like us and follow us as usual on Facebook. Yeah. And mm-hmm. 
that's about it. We're going to be back yeah, next week. So, yeah, thanks for stopping by, everybody. Uh, once again, you deserve a thought of your own. So be in touch. We'll see you next week. All right, thanks, thanks guys. You. See ya.